Fucking explosion! Yes, I am being a fartist. <laughs> I'm gonna be drawing some Genshin fan art. Get it? <laughs> like, uh, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna explain. <laughs> I was like in the middle of drafting at the moment for the illustration I was gonna work on. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I got stuck on the anatomy. So, uh, you get to watch me struggle. <laughs> yeah! Anatomy struggles. to be working on Scaramouche from Genshin and I have to do a forewarning it's probably gonna be a spoiler for those who haven't finished Inazuma and um our favorite part is yes moi. <laughs> oh gosh yeah I was uh trying to decide on poses for the Scaramouche fan art so like I had this and this so I wasn't like sure of which one to go with this one, uh, he has his long hair and he's trying to cut it. So I was like thinking like, oh, how, how do I like uh, show a cutting motion? And I'm like, do I have to bring up a 3D model just to be able to draw it? <laughs> so right now I'm just putting down the, the core idea that I wanted and, um, and then like having the hand probably like holding out uh, like this and then I have the, the side of the shoulder and have this connect hey Shin welcome welcome <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I uh, make the the hair up because I'm right now trying to uh, have a, a thumb a thumbnail for like how the the pose is going to be because I did not plan ahead I was stupid I forgot to plan so uh, right now I'm trying to figure out how to do this hair of a, a cutting motion uh, this is not Raiden Shogun funny enough this is uh, have you played far enough in Genshin because I don't want to spoil <laughs> How far in Genshin did you play? <laughs> Hi, Line! Welcome! Maybe I, I should just probably not do this pose and stream. <laughs> Hello! I mean, did you finish Inazuma at least? Yeah, yeah, this is not spoilers for Sumeru. This is just spoilers for Inazuma. <laughs> I could just decide not to do this one and just go with this one instead, this pose that I already had started out drawing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, with this pose, I actually had a 3D model because I could not do the shoulders right. I couldn't do it justice. Either is fine. <laughs> I'm doing good, Line. How are you? So yeah, I'm gonna put this uh, pose underneath so I could um, make this a little bit more accurate. And let me see. Why can't I, I click on this model? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why can't I click on this model? I can't even fiddle with it anymore. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh no. Really? I 
can't touch this model anymore? Eh? I can't, what? I can't touch it anymore. I was like thinking like, oh, the pose is a little off. And then, um, I can't touch it. Let me see. Oh, there, I think. No? Huh. Okay. How do I make this, uh, be able to touch this model? I can't touch it. I can't touch it! <laughs> I spent so long making this pose! And then I was like, oh, I probably want to move it, the head a little. And I can't. Whoops. Well, I guess I'll just draw over it. Uh, college has been fun, but it's been a pain to, uh, the professors are asking to, I know, like, um, the really high level colleges, like, ask a lot, because I, I know I went to a community college before, and it was actually super easy, and I was a little concerned how easy it was, because I was, like, thinking, like, I don't think college should be this easy, like, I barely had homework. So I'm going to uh, erase a little of this. All right, let me let me make the new pose. New pose, and I'm only going to do the body. One professor has asked us to interview a biz. Oh no! Business owner, how are you gonna get your hands on that? I can't wait to get like 900 work assign homework assignments. Uh, and it's due at 11:59. Someone with high stat, no, because I know if you go to small business owners, it might be a lot easier. Because you go like, oh yeah, I want to talk to a baker and stuff like that. So much easier versus a person that probably owns a Target. <laughs> Let's do the sack. What do they think you? Oh no! <laughs> it's pain. It's pain. I wish you luck. Okay, here is I'm trying to get like at least like a good silhouette of this pose. Alright, so, uh, this, this elbow does not look right, because, you know, like, sometimes when you, uh, bend certain parts of a 3D model, it's not gonna be perfect, but it, at least it'll get a good silhouette. So, there, and this is where the muscle should be. And there's, like, the bone. Um, thankfully my group got in touch with a business owner of diamond stores. So that's, a, that's good. A business owner is a business owner. That's fine enough. <laughs> so it can't be like a person that owns the store. It actually has to be a business owner. Like that owns like, uh, like the entire like corporation. I'm sorry, I, I probably shouldn't be like diving it too deep in this. <laughs> A C! <gasps> oh, 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 nope, nope, that's so hard! I'm glad you got in touch with somebody though, that's, that's amazing. Okay, I think, let me see how it looks without the 3D model. I don't like the hand. I don't like the hand. I'm probably gonna just draw my own hand. Um, yeah, let me just uh, draw the basis of the hand. And yeah, this is will be how big the hand is. And this is like the idea of like the thumb. But I'm gonna redraw the hand because I don't like how this hand looks. Uh, what is already supplied to you by the um, 3D. All right, uh, I think I'll, I'll try to figure out the, the pose of the hand after I get the, the legs down so that it perfectly wraps around the legs. 
My group saved my cheeks from getting an F. <laughs> Your group, it has you, homie. <laughs> they got you. I was pretty skeptical. Oh, well, at least they got you. They got you. Because if it were me, I would be like, uh, go to my dad, go like, hey, can, can I interview? Because <laughs> he owns a motorcycle shop. So I was like, oh, I could just like ask him. That would be an easy score. But I don't think you could uh, ask family members who own a business. <laughs> you were going to ask me? <laughs> I, I... I'm more like a freelancer. I'm not a, a, a business owner. I mostly like um, uh, get work from people if there's available work, but I don't usually like um, pro provide work for other people too, or like own a conglomerate. <laughs> VTuber making VTuber models. <laughs> I mean, if the, if the teacher accepts it. <laughs> yeah, it was your last resort. I would be happy to help too, if it was like any way of helping, but I, uh, I always get frowned upon on like the work I do because it'll be like, oh, uh, what you're doing is like not a real job because it's not like under a company. And I was like, but I do, I do make enough money, <laughs> but, uh, I think it's like more like if you work for a big business name, they take you more seriously. Versus if you work for yourself. Yeah, that's that's true, that's true. If I uh, make money, it's a business. Sorry. There's his collarbone. Wow, this it's it's laying out the entire collarbone for me. I remember I had to adjust the, the lighting a little bit. All right, how do I have the head? Okay, let me see. Let me hide this so I can... Okay, I will erase uh, most of the body. Oops. Um, I'm sorry uh, that this will be short, but I need to head to bed. Oh, it's okay, Line. Thank you for dropping by. I I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Right, this is new pose, right? Yeah, new pose. Welcome back, Shin. Yeah, yeah. It was nice seeing saying hi to you, Line. It has been a long time. It's been a while since I last drew in a stream. I've been mostly dr uh, drawing in uh, Discord. Like, Discord group calls. Yeah! I'm gonna cheek him up. <laughs> cheek him up! You can see uh, a lot of my group calls. Yeah, I, I know it's a little intimidating because we have a lot of people that usually join, but we, I promise we are all very welcoming to new people. We love to t meet new people too. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. Been meeting a lot of people too. It, it's been nice. If I had the time, I would be joining, but uni has been... Yeah, uh, I have 
I have some other friends that have been stuck in uni and they were like, oh, I wish I could join, but I'm busy with homework. But once uni is done, you'll be free. Hi, Anna! Are you drawing right now? Hi, hi! You're raking! Oh, what are you making, Nada? These are, uh, chonkers. Probably would, like, make the heel a little bit smaller. Breaking my own model because there's some stuff I want to fix. Ah, uh, I, I want to break again. Ah! <laughs> I want to break again. <laughs> it was so loud. <laughs> I was also not expecting it. Okay, so then there's a little ankle bone here. Mm, let's see. Mm. Uh, I think. And then I have just like that. Yeah! Alright, and I'm almost done with the post. I feel like uh, this part should be a little farther apart. Like this. Yeah! <laughs> More thick? <laughs> Oh, I, I wasn't cheating. Before I actually had a pose that I drew and I thought the anatomy was off, so I used a 3D model. And I actually posed a 3D model myself, so I didn't like take the the pose from somebody else. So um Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh I think I have to add and rig toggle uh and then add a two point Oh, is it a new drawing or is it like just the same like illustration? forward to it scara fetus oh no fetus pose oh nice 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 new rigging i need that practice in i need to rig some more i haven't rigged since i rigged this model <laughs> Oh, no, that's since March. That was since March. Okay, I think, uh, um, line up here so that it meets up with the leg. Let's see. Mm. It's decent. I felt like the shoulder was a little off, but it's better than before. It was better than before. I lost the old rigging files when my PC broke. <gasps> no! Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's a gap missing here. And now I could put on clothes. I could put on clothes. How was the neck? How was the neck supposed to be? Oh, it's, it's a big neck. He is not a skinny boy. <laughs> I can fix that though. Um, let me make his thing a little wider. Uh, I think like this. And then I want to use the mesh transform. Oh 
god, this is gonna be so stretched. How does how does his uh don't apply? No! <laughs> oh no, I lost it. Okay. Let me see how Skara's neck is supposed to be. I can just try to make the neck thinner. So is this like your monthly Yeah, this is my monthly Genshin art. I want those Primo gems. I want to meet them, smell them. Got to need them, have them. And yeah, it's for the Primo gems, and I'm doing it for Scaramouche. I want to make sure I get him. He seems like he, uh, I don't think he'll be like super limited, but like, I want to get him at the release. It'll make me so happy. Uh, transform. There we go. And this part needs to be more forward. All right, I think this is good. How's the neck? Is this too wide? Let me see. I think it's a, a little bit too wide of a neck. He's supposed to be a scrawny boy. <laughs> Must have primo gems, yeah. Great. Erase this a little bit. All right, there we go. This should be good. All right, how, how does this look? And then I want to have his um, outfit. Where's the front? Oh God, the front is like really hard to see. Let me open another uh, reference I had of Scaramouche. S S S. Here we go. This one is a little bit easier to see uh, the details. And then I also want to, I guess before I, I try to adjust the, um, uh, what do you call it? Before I adjust uh, the clothes, I probably want to adjust the, like, the composition, how it's going to lay out. So let me do that. So I want to have probably like uh, less here. Mm, maybe like a more tall. Let me see, where is the canvas size? And then I could enlarge it. That way it feels a little taller. Can embrace uh, the, what do you call it? Him like feel like he's floating. I want to have him like underwater too. Alright, so this could be like clothes. And let's see, let's see. Oh. Um, oh god, this is like a little overwhelming. <laughs> a little overwhelming. But I need to. This. Why is every Genshin character super detailed? <laughs> every Genshin character has so much detail, and like some of the details they have is like really, um, what is that on his shoulder? You see this? What is that? <laughs> That's armor. See, 
he has a bit of armor. So. Probably would want to... Wait a little bit here. Hmm. Hmm. And then we get the little tail bit here. I'm trying so hard to. My eyes are going two different directions. And then we have, it looks like legs. Uh, this looks like it actually pokes out a lot more than this. a little bit bigger. There we go. And then we have, um, it looks like we can have the cloth and, oops, and here. And then there's the purple claw here, and then there's another claw underneath this one. And they all drag down. Okay, this purple one is actually just like, it looks like a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a t-shirt under Scaramouche. And then we have like the long traditional claw here. We can make this uh, wave out. It's, it's a little bit more flowy. There we go. Uh, how does the the sleeves go? Oh, it's it's long, long, very long. Hi, Koi! I love you. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> <laughs> the boy <laughs> Scaramussy Oh my gosh this uh this picture uh let me see if I could like uh hide myself so you can see because it looks like he's uh who, who's that character from Shrek? Like look he looks so short <laughs> He looks like a midget here the, the editing is not supposed to be like that. It's the Scaramussy. Yeah, he, he looks sharp, but it's just the way the, the picture cuts off. <laughs> but he is sharp. Well, like, it's funny to know, like, okay, I'm not going to discuss spoilers. Okay, I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> There's a lore reason why he's short. I'm sure that everybody's gotten past Inazuma though for the reason why. It's just that there's a select few people that I know that have not finished Inazuma, so I was like, I can't say anything. It's Kajina! Yes, you can't fight Jedi. I, I remember I used to be in so, so much denial thinking like, oh yeah, I'll be definitely like uh, five, six in the future, five, five. Cause that, that was like, I wanted to be normal height. <laughs> and um, I checked out like genetics and stuff. Cause um, like, a, what is it? It was like a genetics like sheet saying like, put your two parents heights down and we'll say like how tall you could be at your tallest. And it's the tallest I could ever be is 5-0. And I was so devastated <laughs> because I did reach max height. I am 5-0. Oh, 
<laughs> You're an abomination. Well, it depends on how tall your mom, like, uh, for girls, it depends on how tall your dad is. And for boys, it depends how tall your mom is. And if I was a guy, I would probably be 5'8". If I was a guy. <laughs> That's what it said in the, the, the thing. I would be 5'8". I was like, I would take that! I would take being 5'8". But um, since I'm a girl, the tallest I could be is 5'0", based on my genetics. Because my mom is like uh, more on the average size, but my dad is really short. I was predicted to be 172 centimeters, but I'm 160. No! And my parents are 5'6. 5'8 taller than me. I could have, I could have been taller. <laughs> but I am 5'0. My mom is 5'2 uh, and my dad is 5'5. <laughs> I was very sad but my friends were like cheer up being short is not bad at least you're cute <laughs> and I was like I don't want to be looked down upon <laughs> now I just embrace it but <laughs> before I was like in such denial going like, I don't want to be short but I'm like but heck I'm cute <laughs> I'm cute people want to pick me up Don't worry, I only kneel so I get to look out. Uh, helping you with your paper? Um, I need difference between... Did, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could definitely uh, talk about that. So the differences between traditional and digital is definitely, like, the feeling of, like, um, when applying on, like... Because you, you kind of get some something more absent feeling when you draw um digitally versus traditional oh god i'm trying to hit oh god how do i how would i do that <laughs> trying to draw toes okay yeah um with digital you <gasps> trying to draw and talk at the same time is a little hard let me think, let me think. I, I feel like I have to write it down. Um, okay. Uh, the most obvious thing is definitely the being able to undo your mistakes in digital, which is like a plus. And you also use a lot less materials, which was the main reason why I switched to digital because I spent so much money on art materials on uh, traditional art. I would buy Prismacolor pencils and those things, they cost $50 a pack for uh, 48 color pencils because you need a lot of colors because trying to blend to get a color you want gets a little messy. So uh, with digital art, it's a lot cheaper in the long run. Even though you have to buy the program, you don't have to keep buying the material over and over again. Which sucks that they are now having subscription programs on some uh, art programs. So then you're pretty much doing the same exact thing with art materials. Where you're continuously on a loop trying to keep uh, buying materials so that you don't run out. Um, another thing uh, with digital and traditional is that with, um, I guess like with traditional, it's a lot easier to do compositions on it because you have a, an equal eye view of seeing the entire thing versus if you're on digital, you have to zoom in quite a bit. You have to zoom in a lot. So you don't have a good idea of the composition. <laughs> toes and feet! <laughs> oh yeah, Don't do you love his toes? Do you love his toes? <laughs> These toes don't look right. They are uh, looking like deformed toes. There we go. There we go. I, 
think this this foot looks a lot better now. But he looks like he has a chonky toe. So I'm going to fix that. Oh yeah, and also with like uh, digital art, you also get like shortcut keys versus with like uh, traditional art. You actually have to like do everything by hand. Like sometimes like uh, also you have to be extra careful on the lines you make in traditional art. Cause if you make a mistake, you made a mistake, you have to start over. Citations from reliable resources. <laughs> This is from experience because I used to be a traditional artist. I used to do traditional art with uh, paint and uh, colored pencil for about like three, four years. No, maybe even longer than that. Um, but I did it uh, from the year like 2010 to 2013. Oh, that's three years. That's three years. Because as soon as I got a tablet around in, uh, the beginning of... 2013 I only did digital art after that I, I sometimes came back to traditional especially just to do sketches but other than that I um I mostly did digital because I saved on paper I saved on space and I also like um saved on materials so I I always go like digital is a lot better because you get to save so much money because I used to splurge so much money and I was not getting a lot back for the work I was doing. Dom, hi Dom. It's Scaramouche Toes. <laughs> Scaramouche Toes. Uh, yo, wanky wanky. <laughs> I was also discussing like the difference between um, Digital and traditional art. Uh, what else is there a difference between the two? Well, big thing is layers for sure. Yeah, they both have scara toes. Yeah. Yeah, they they both have their redemptions. I feel like with traditional art, it's a lot faster to draw, like finish drawings. I usually finish uh sketches like uh, a cleaned up sketch in about 40 minutes i could finish a drawing in 40 minutes in traditional versus five hours on digital and the reason why for that is because um with like traditional you you have an easier view to see the entire thing so um and also you could actually get lost in digital art putting too much detail it's a it's a very dangerous thing and all those details you make you can't even see them in the end product versus in uh traditional art you can see everything because you're kind of like restricted on how much you can zoom in because it's by your eyesight and also the size of your graphite pencil well it's a fetus pose <laughs> I do want to draw his hat. I like his hat a lot. But yeah, this is uh, the pose he has right now. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword of drawing. Uh, traditional versus digital. And I feel like digital always has like um, the nicest results in the end because of how clean you can make it. But, um, and you also save so much uh, like money from materials. And you can get the most highest quality stuff just based on your skill on uh, digital. Versus with uh, traditional art, you actually have to buy the highest quality materials. You can't just buy a program and go like, oh yeah, I could just like um, make it look as good as like these famous painters. No, you actually have to buy the same quality that those famous painters use so that you could paint as good as those so that the colors come out pigmented and stuff. You can't just buy Crayola and expect it to look like professional paintwork. You actually have to buy like the super expensive pigmented stuff. <laughs> if you want to know like really good like uh, colored pencils, I know like Faber, I think it's like Faber -Cat Pastel? Faber Castell or something like that. And then that's a cheaper option than Prismacolor. But Prismacolor I really like because the 
uh, the lead in it is very soft and it's easy to blend with uh, um, a blender. They are super easy to blend. Robert Castell, yeah, 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 that one. That's the name brand of the colored pencil. And it's it's supposed to be a competing brand for um, uh, Prismacolor because Prismacolors are, it's it monopolizes a lot of the uh, art industry because of like uh, how reliable and like well-known they are. But um, yes, uh, also get a, like a, what do you call it? Uh, it's called a, it's like a blender. It's a paper blender. I forget what they're called. They, they call them sometimes like paper stumps. But yeah, they, they're the only thing that works. Like no other color pencils work with blenders except um, Faber-Castell and Prismacolors. But I think Prismacolors are even softer than uh, Faber-Castells. It's been too long since I, I did traditional, so I'm not like within the loop as much anymore with traditional art, but uh, that was at the time when I was like doing a lot of tradition, traditional art. Yeah, blenders. Uh, they're called paper stumps or uh, like, can you make like a smoothie? No, they're, they're actually, they look like they're made out of paper and they look like they were sharpened by a pencil sharpener, these uh, paper stumps. And um, they're used to just uh, blend either graphite or um, soft colored pencils. A Bob Ross tutorial stream. I, I'm not as good as Bob Ross. Bob Ross can like finish a, like a painting effortlessly. Like I don't even know. Like I would see if it's like it looks perfect, but he's like, but I don't even try to calculate it. It just happens. You just have to have the right like materials and good strokes, and boom. You don't even have to like have like try to make gradients or blending and all that stuff. But I, I'm trying to work towards on uh, drawing faster because I, um. I guess it's like my mortal enemy at the moment is time because I want to be able to be able to draw a lot faster. So from what I heard, my sketching time is good. Uh, my coloring time is good. It's my line art that's eating up all my time. <laughs> so I was told, get rid of the line art and try to just um, do a painterly style and just paint over it. And I was like, oh, that's kind of scary, you know? <laughs> Try to paint over uh, a drawing. I don't. I don't have a lot of confidence, but I have to make the leap for that. I'm craving a pencil blend. Ew! Why? <laughs> they smell like Crayola crayons. All right. I. Oh, I see what this is. This is supposed to be. Okay. So this is supposed to blend in here. And this comes up like this. How, how does the, the back go? I need to see his back. Okay, I see it. You can kind of see where I'm looking a little bit. My head is so huge it blocks away. <laughs> You were the one talking about pencils. Of, well, blenders, that's what... Okay, I need to show what a blender looks like. Let me go grab one real quick. Um, okay, here it is. Um, okay, yeah, the... The ones that are like one time use are called tortillions. I did not know if it was actually called that or not because I only heard someone call this thing once. But um, let me see if I could show this on stream. Uh, image. All right, let me get the picture. There we go. 
Yeah, this is a blending stump right here. You can see the very top one. This is the one I like to use. I like to use the top one. You would eat it? No, don't eat it! This is made out of paper! And, um... The ones in the bottom called tortillions, they tend to flatten out very easily. So you have to be super careful. So what I usually do to make it last a little bit longer is that I uh, undo a paper clip and poke it right through the tortillion so that uh, the point will always stay pointy so that it doesn't um, get uh, flattened because they do get flattened like very easily, like quick in time. So I usually uh, straighten out a paper clip and put it in. You don't make smoothies with these! This is for blending colors! <laughs> this is for blending colors! <laughs> this is uh, also used for graphite. If you want to uh, use like pencil and paper, you could use uh, this as well. And I know like art teachers tell you, please do not use, um, what do you call it? Mechanical pencils to, to blend. And I'm like, screw it. I'm going to use mechanical pencils. And, um... You just have to be very gentle with the pencil because um, the reason why they tell you not to use mechanical pencils is because the the graphite. Oh, hi, Starlight! Welcome! I'm just uh, teaching them about um, blending stumps, what they are. <laughs> my art teacher was on my cheeks about mechanical pencils. Yeah! Okay, I, I am not against mechanical pencils. If you can blend well with um, with the mechanical pencils, I have no gripes of, against it. Uh, it's just for some reason the teachers like to see to have you use blending stumps. And blending stumps do not degrade over time like tortillions do. So if you were to get a blending um, paper thing, I recommend a blending stump, the one at the very top where it has uh, pointy on both ends because it's never going to flatten. Thank you so much, Starlight. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you think I look pretty. Seems like I could make it well with paper and blow. No, don't do that. These, these things are expensive. I think they're like $5 for these. For the blending stuff, it's $5. For a tortillion, you get a bunch of them for I guess like you could get like six or something for a dollar. Yes, five bucks for the blending stump on the top. They are expensive. A piece, a piece. That is why traditional art is so expensive. That's, uh, I always tell people like, you're better off if you want high quality work, just do digital art. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm blushing, I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah. I am, uh, yes, I am not kidding you that these things are expensive. <laughs> um, yes, Starlight's floating game is on point. I'm blushing so much. I'm, ah! <laughs> it's, I'm like, ah! Uh! <laughs> I don't know if you can see, like, my starry eyes. <laughs> Mui will blush if you say hi! <laughs> Actually not. Wait, that actually got me this time. I can't believe it. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And when the second knock hit, I was like, oh wait, that's a redeem. <laughs> it's so realistic, it is. Your eyes are like gems. These are okay, Seb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Starlight. Yeah, like. They move around. <laughs> I, I was uh, so happy that I got to get these horns to work. Got him! <laughs> the brains? The horns have my brain? <laughs> my brain is so huge. It extends out of my hat. <laughs> so huge. Okay, I'm gonna hide this tortillion. But yeah, traditional art, super expensive. Do not uh, recommend unless you have a lot of money. If you can uh, buy a digital art program, it's only $50 for a one-time pur purchase. Or you can wait for the sale. Oh, I got cat ears. <laughs> or you can wait for the sale and you could get it for $25 instead and you're set. 
but you can you also need to buy uh, an art tablet which is about um, it could be about fifty dollars and over imagine having money like she's okay so digital art is cheaper in the long run because it's one-time purchase only you probably would only need to replace the tablet once every 10 years thank you ah! i like they also like they they change when i like get mad like <laughs> and then like happy <laughs> they they like change expressions too it's cute you're talking like drink okay i'll get some water I'm gonna save 150 k street points so that movie can make me fan art. <laughs> yeah! Fan art is an option. Yeah, it's like, uh, it would be like a black and white gradient, uh, drawing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, some point count too. Whoa, 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 I cannot do NSFW. I tried. Okay, I, ha I have a story to tell you why I could not draw NSFW. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a, a free option because like usually for the amount it costs to like um, The artwork you'll get is like the $40 illustration that I have in my ref sheet So it's pretty much you're like getting it for free instead of like paying $40 uh, Digital art is so much more fun because you get to to have the color you want for the first time and it isn't the correct color you just you can erase it and not paper pencil art and you can't do that because of eraser yeah well thank you for the follow starlight yeah you could actually like the nice thing is eyedropper tool that is my best friend <laughs> eyedropper tool is my best friend and um you can um what is it oh god my brain is leaving me <laughs> I'm trying to see control Z yes yes these are all things you could have ideas for your paper of why like what's the difference between tr traditional and digital and uh, what else was there oh yeah like uh, you know when you're mixing colors you can't like get the same color when you run out of it so you have to like accommodate go like okay you know you're that color is gonna be ending up a little different sometimes you have to paint over it copy paste yes you can make it perfectly symmetrical and digital yeah right, let me see the front view again Verona, hi! Yes, I'm drawing the baby! <laughs> I'm drawing the baby. But, um... Yeah, like, uh, I feel like... Digital art is... Uh, it's definitely a hurdle to learn. Because, uh, with traditional art, all you have to do is just pick up a pencil and draw what you see. But with digital art, you have to get some fundamentals down to understand the program. So, like no program is the same it has some similar elements but they're not all the same so you usually have to learn them all over again um oh god i need to uh fix this part it's a little bit crooked yeah uh, i feel like you feel like streaming oh i am so down to watch sit down to watch you stream i miss your streams Oh god, I probably will have to, uh, fix this. Look how wonky that is. <laughs> but I have to make it point down, because that's what it, it shows. Because it, it's supposed to point directly down through the, the chest cavity. I never did a, a face pose like this, though, where it's like, um, 
the nose down, the eyelashes down, and stuff like that. Yeah. Last tool. Yes, number one tool. You could move stuff. I remember when I first started digital art that I had, um, I did not take advantage of all the things you could do. Because before, like, if I made a mistake, I actually literally erased it because I was so used to uh, traditional art back then. And it, it took a lot of, like, muscle, like, to fight my muscle memory to take advantage of all the tools with uh, digital art. Very interesting pose, yeah. Yeah, you, you didn't take advantage of them either? Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see. His booty though. <laughs> um, all right, I feel like the, all right, so it looks like his uh, piece here is a little thick because it's like, more tall. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, all right. And Oh wait, this is a little funky. So we have this part of the sleeve to go out. I haven't done anything but traditional art for a while, so I, uh, cause I blew a fuse on, or something in my digital drawing. No! Oh no! Could you just buy a new drawing pet tablet ta pen? Ugh. Because you can buy them, but I've never done that before, so I don't know. I just hear people talking about it, like, uh, either like the, the pen died and they just have to buy a new pen. Because if the, the tablet still works, like it lights up, it's not like blinking. That's good. Yeah, you have to get a new pen. I think as long as the um, tablet is not too old, you might be able to still be able to find the pens. Okay, how, how's the design for the end of the sleep? Oh God. <laughs> oh no. All right, how is it on the other rough sheet? Ah, this is... All right, so I could see the the back of his sleeve here. I want to be able to draw, but I simply lack the perseverance. I feel like um, as long as you like draw what you enjoy, I feel like you could be able to have fun with it. Because I feel like having fun with drawing is more important, and um, than like learning the fundamentals. Because you want to make sure if you actually enjoy drawing, and. Uh, when I first started, all I did was like, I like to draw animals when I was younger, make little stories. And uh, the more I, I drew, I think what made me draw more was actually making stories. Because I wasn't motivated to draw just regular illustration pieces. I was too bored for that. But drawing, um, like, what was it? Drawing, oh God. Drawing stories, sorry, I, I, I'm, I got like a little sidetracked. Drawing stories tend to like make me motivate, go like, okay, I want to this and this and this and this and happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, as I said before, I used to be a furry artist before I started drawing people because I, I thought people were very difficult to draw animals were a lot easier. All right, how is this? Oh, I see how this is supposed to be. Okay. So I want the clip like this. It's so cute. <laughs> All I've been doing is redesigning Pokemon if they had a different type. Oh, I remember I used to draw Pokemon a lot. Like I would draw, like make up my own Pokemon. Go like one day I'll work for Game Freak and be able to make my own Pokemon real. In the end, I kind of didn't really like my Pokemon designs. I thought they were garbage. <laughs> but um, I ended up drawing people more, and I was like, came up with a new dream goal. Like one day my art will be in a gotcha game. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet, but I could look in to a more reasonable dream of like trying to um, 
make people happy with like commission art. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, Starlight, you're you're like hitting all all my uh, weak points. <laughs> you're hitting all my weak points. I actually never thought my voice was uh, nice because, like, I guess it was my own judgment of like hearing my own voice. I was like, oh, I don't like my voice, but um, I got motivated to do be a VTuber because my friend was like, you've got the voice, you could do VTubing. I was like, huh, what? And um, because of uh, them saying that to me, I, I was like, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and um, I I was had a lot of support from friends who told me to uh, try to VTube, and I made so many friends along the way too. I hate my voice, but there is one specific person who really likes it. I'm just asking why. <laughs> yeah, like um, yeah, we we get those kinds of people too, like. There's like a part of ourselves that we don't like, but like it kind of reminds me of that one scene of Fruits Basket where they say like you have a a little uh, pickled plum on your back and you don't see it, but everybody else does and they envy you for it. And you just have to realize uh, that pickled plum when people say like they like that about you. It's like a, a little secret hidden talent you have. I was watching Fruits Basket recently, so that's why I remember. <laughs> But I felt like Fruit Basket was also like a big motivation of like trying to see another outlook of life. I don't think I am a better person, but I feel like I have a better outlook. <laughs> I want to have I want to play Genshin right now, but I have homework. I don't want to do homework. <laughs> hmm, that is a good that is a good question. Homework or Genshin? I think doing homework first is important. I still haven't met anyone who has complimented my voice. No, Seb! You will find, you'll find that person. Sometimes uh, talking a lot uh, and trying to control your voice also helps too, maybe? I don't know. Because <laughs> I used to have a more like, um, what do you call it? Not so controlled voice? My voice, like, sounded like a child. <laughs> I don't know, but I didn't like it because I, I sounded like a kid <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not a kid. <laughs> I I have the power of voice manipulation on my, <gasps> ooh. I tried to do voice manipulation. I was like, I thought like, yeah, I could, I could do voices and stuff. And then I hear myself uh, on the other end and I was like, I sound exactly the same. <laughs> I have to really exaggerate. Just like when I smile, I have to really exaggerate. E. <laughs> really exaggerate my smile. Wait, maybe I could try to make it... Uh, make the thing flow this way. He only has it on one side. Wait, 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 what? Wait. <gasps> he only has it on one side. Okay, I'm sorry, you can't see it, but like look at his shoulders. He only has that little armor piece sticking up only on one side and I drew it on the wrong side. I want his hat, me too, I want his hat too. I, that was what attracted me the most to his design first, was his hat, and then his lore. His lore is so good. Okay, I have to actually delete this because it's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be on the other side of his shoulder. I didn't realize his 
design is not symmetrical. Okay. So it kind of like comes out like this and then it flails out. If I don't uh, get to take his hat, I don't want to talk to I hope he keeps his hat in um, the banner, like when he becomes gets released. I hope he keeps it. But people are saying he might not. And I'm like, no, no, I want his hat. I want his hat. I love his, his hat. I'm a hat person. You see me? I got a big hat. I love hats. I also want to have more hat designs in the future. I was like also thinking like, what if I was able to like make a new model before my birthday? So then it's like a birthday stream with a new model. That would be pretty cool. I would pull for him just for the hat. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. Like you see like how flowy his, look how majestic that is. Oh, you can't even see it. It's so majestic. There he is. You can see how majestic he is. The one piece is real. Oh my gosh, Shin! Uh, but will he do the Fandango? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know if he will do the Fandango. Dead meme. You good, you good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, he has a braid on his, over his shoulder. Should I push this part over a little more? Wait, wait, wait. I could just twist it. This. And there we go. And I could, I could just erase it from his face. We're good. And then we have a little bit more here. It looks like we have bits of white here. And it meets up here. There we go. I'm gonna lurk for a little bit to get some homework done. Yeah, nice, nice. Get some work done. A, a very detailed boy. <laughs> yes, I will be procrastinating. Wait, I want to see how he would look like if I were to draw the hat right now. Let's see. If I were to draw his hat, it would probably be like... Oh god. <laughs> that is not... So his hat would probably be like this. His hat would probably be like covering most of his face. <laughs> Make it so that he is holding that. He has two arms interlocking his um his legs. I did see the Kava Leagues, Brona. I did. I heard he's going to be a four star, which I am very happy because that makes it a little bit easier for me to get him. I don't have to um, try to like fight for a copy because uh, I really want Al Haytham too. He is hot. He is spicy. I'm sorry, shocked he's a four star. His design is five star for sure. I'm just glad that it's, he's a four star because like I don't think there's much of a gap between four stars and five stars in their strengths. So makes it easier to get him. I think that's like a rare occurrence like for uh, like Genshin, where like the four stars and five stars don't actually have a, a difference in power. All it is is that they're just more rare, which I am always down for because most games, um, like I was playing Arcanized earlier, and um, yeah, they you could definitely see that there are is a big uh power gap between uh the lower rarities versus five stars. 
I mean, six stars. Six stars in Arknights. Why is he so hot? Why? <laughs> okay, so I see it twirls like this. And this. And here. There we go. Oh, I feel like it could be easier to build five stars to be stronger, but both can reach a higher power. Okay, Slaw, see you. Make sure you do your homework. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was also like discussing about, um, what was it called? Like, we were, I was talking about corporations to a friend of mine who is very familiar about their worth ethic. And I was like saying like, man, I, I know like a lot of jobs, they ask, like if you're doing going for an artist job, you need to be able to draw very fast. And if you can't, you're most likely not gonna get hired. And, um, it is actually absolutely true about all that worry. You you have to be very fast at your job or you can't uh, get the art job. What am I doing uh, homework? All I'm doing is researching mythology for poetry. <laughs> oh, then you have to actually read. Oh man. I got this. Right, I got the the emblem fully drawn. Oh, you're writing poetry about mythology. Oh, I I don't like mythology. <laughs> I I admit that. Well, it's not too bad, but um, I guess the idea of <gasps> Hugh, hi hi hi. You love mythology? I think it's like, it depends on what, I think I had like bad experiences with it. I, I like Greek mythology. I liked uh, like the Roman mythology and stuff, but um, I guess it was like, <laughs> I think the England, when we were like learning about English mythology, about like the king and stuff, about lores, I was not very interested in it. Maybe, no, it was actually interesting. I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> I think it's the idea of homework that makes, like, I can enjoy it in my free time, but I don't think it would be fun to do it as homework if I'm forced to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what am I talking about? It's, it's actually interesting lore because I still remember all the mythology I read to this day. Oh, you're not really forced to do it? Oh, that's nice. You're just procrastinating. <laughs> like me, I procrastinate a lot with like, uh, even though I enjoy art, I procrastinate a lot with it because it's like, uh, I wanna I wanna draw something I wanna draw. <laughs> and my commissioner is like, do it, draw something you wanna draw. And I was like, but I wanna get work done. <laughs> with, with the stuff I draw, it could have been work. And then, like, my, my commissioners are like, you should draw what you want to draw. I don't want to force you. Oh, you just started the unit. You just need to create a, a series of poems about one talk. Oh. I see. Like this is this braid. Should probably be more slanted. Yeah, like that. And then I could make this part. Ah! Trying to come up with the the OG shapes. Here we go. And then we have like the braid here. 
Uh, what other parts are on Scaramouche I have to focus on? Uh, we have his whole torso. His entire torso. Wait, what has the design on his sleeve? Okay. Design on the sleeve. Not too bad. And it just branches out like this. There we go. Um, shapes and colors. Oh, I, I totally understand that feeling. Not with art, but other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like uh, even though you enjoy it, um, sometimes you have to do it, like, for work. And you kind of want to do something else, even though it's not going to be very productive. <laughs> uh, let's see. I could probably make his shoes. Do they have his feet on here? Scaramouche feet! Where are you? <laughs> Wait, they have his hands. That's actually really helpful. If he uses his hand reference. <laughs> My big old head covering up the whole screen. You don't want to do your homework after all this. I was okay with you just lurking. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Uh, what does it do? <laughs> Maybe it'll give you a sense of urgency. Let's see. We got the sleep cups. These are very easy to draw. It's probably the easiest part in this whole design. <laughs> placeholder at the moment. Um, let's see. So where's his feet though? <laughs> Where are his feet? Okay, I see his feet. It's so blurry! Look how blurry his feet are! <laughs> his feet are so blurry. I can barely see them. Tell if it's supposed to be some sort of gem on there. Okay, do they have other... Wow, they don't have his feet <laughs> in any of this. They were like, nah, nobody's gonna be drawing Scaramouche feet. We don't need to include this in the ref sheet. <laughs> Me? reminds me of the time when I was like working on a zine piece and um they were like hey um can you change the pose of the feet because it looks a little too erotic they said I know you draw really good feet but like <laughs> I was like oh oh I'm so sorry I was a little disappointed because I was so proud of those feet that I drew but they said it was too erotic for the zine I'm like no at first I thought maybe it was like the boobs were too erotic. No, it was the feet. They didn't want it to look like a, fe a foot fetish scene. <laughs> god dang! The dogs are out! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I, I think it's like more circular. I'm making a guess here. Because I cannot tell how uh, these shoes are supposed to look. But he kind of looks like he's wearing stilts. Okay, there we go. Stilt shoes. There we go. Oh, how is this? 
these shoes look? Um, I think the, the still could come in a little deeper. And here is another foot. And this one's supposed to be behind, so this is fine that the um, shoe was covering it. I don't have fetishes. No one makes no one makes fun of me for it. <laughs> I don't have a foot fetish, guys. It's just like I I trained really hard to draw these feet, you know, <laughs> because I was so ashamed of how bad I drew feet that I was like, I'm gonna learn how to draw feet right. And now everybody's calling me a foot fetish because I could draw feet. It's like I can't. I I don't have a foot fetish. I was hoping that I feel my rigging is so, uh, I has hope, but I feel like my rigging is so underwhelming that I think I need to start making crazy assets and toggles to make my model and stream work. No, Ada! I feel like as long as, like, you're able to make, like, the head movement go pretty far with the left and right, and, um, I guess if, hmm, I don't know. I feel like even like uh, making some idle animation, like if if some parts of you glow, that would be pretty cool. Welcome back, Dom. I feel like this does not look right. This foot, this big toe, I am not happy with it. It looks like this one is a little bit too far out. Oh wait, I could probably just use a, a liquify tool. I just realized the the bottom there is like there we go. I want this to attach. And I feel like the the toes look a little long. Ah <laughs> It already looks horrible. No! Out of, wait! I actually have some references of like head pose angles if you ever have trouble with them. Believe in yourself, Ada! I have fun physics and the starlight on my chest that is in sync with my breathing is. But it's nothing new. I had them. Oh no, Ada! Your model looks amazing though. I just realized that uh, this kind of looks like. They're having some tangent issues. Hmm. I'm seeing tangent issues. That's not good. Maybe if the feet were crossed a little? Does it look like it could cross? Yeah, I think it could cross. I think that these legs can cross so that we don't have tangent issues anymore. Right, let me... Let me erase this new foot back is, is in, <laughs> new foot is back in town wait what was this for oh this is the hat let me put this hat um yes should be good yeah that looks a lot better that way it's like the the feet cross a little bit 
Anna's rigging, uh, rigging right now on her stream, so if you want to see it. <laughs> we are both suffering because I'm right now trying to figure out this, like, clothing. And I'm like, oh god, this, this design is actually really hard. <laughs> Usually I don't have... Uh, much trouble with like clothing designs, but Genshin has has always never failed to stump me. <laughs> has never failed. Cause their designs are pretty crazy. Cause I feel like um, Big Grand Order's designs are very easy. They're really fun to draw. Uh, even though they look super detailed, they're actually not that detailed at all. They're very simple. Uh, Genshin, though, they look simple from the outside, and then when you actually try to draw, they're like, oh no, oh no, what what have I done? This is a mistake. This is why Genshin has a content creator program, because their characters are so detailed. <laughs> they they don't have, like, they, they want to encourage people to draw them. There we go. Uh, where do you get your references? I got them from Google. Um, I just searched up Scaramouche references and I got a whole bunch of references from that. Uh, there's also a website where you could also like look at a 3D, a Genshin 3D model. Uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, if you ever want to draw Genshin characters, um, let me see if I can find it. Hopefully I have it uh, pinned. Is it? There it is. Alright, let me share the website. This website you could actually use to uh, get 3D models of Genshin characters and be able to draw them much easier. It's very easy to see uh, all the angles. However, they do not have Scaramouche yet because they're only putting in playable characters. So I, I can't get Scaramouche's 3D model from there, so I had to get it online. Uh, the, the, all the reference shots. There we go. His booty! Alright, um, how is the, the leg part? Okay, so it looks like a little cross, and then it dangles down. So it's only on, like, this side. So we have like some sort of thing here. I can't even tell what this is. I wish it looked more 3D because this is like uh, plain, plain white. Well, not white, like a flat color. It looks like a flat color. So it's a little bit hard to see. And I think it pokes out a little bit more. Oh no, it's not poking. All right, I'm gonna uh, erase a little bit. There we go. I will try to clean this all up later. I'm not gonna do it on stream to clean up. I'm, I'm just gonna do the sketching. Uh, let's see, let's see. We have all this. Wait, I didn't even notice that he had uh, that on his legs. Oh, wow. Oh, he even has uh, a little pouch that has, um, the Electro symbol on it. Even though he's not Electro, he has an Electro symbol on his back. Isn't that the Electro symbol on his chest, too? I just realized. That's the Electro symbol, isn't it? Yet, he's Animo. But I can't find the Animo, like, uh, what do you call it, vision on him? You ever feel like doing something but nothing seems fun? I'm mad he is an Electro! Yeah, I, I didn't even hear what weapon he's going to wield. All I know is that he's Animo. Yeah, I felt like he... He should have been Electro, but I think Raiden still really didn't want him. <laughs> 
It's such a shock too. Maybe he actually doesn't have a vision, but he got a vision afterwards. Maybe. Not sure. Ah, da 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 da. Okay, so now it's the pants. Uh, how, how high are the pants? They're like around here. It feels like he would use a pole arm. Oh yeah, he does seem like that kind of character. People were hoping he would be a catalyst too. But if he's an animal catalyst, it's like something we already have. But we don't have, we, we do have an animal pole arm. That's Zhao. Okay, so should be up here. There we go. Then we have this here. Zhao is best boy. Yes, he is. I love him. I love Zhao. Hold on, let me see. Let me try to do a little bit of background stuff, like bubbles. some bubbles up here. You can't say that when Sino is a character. I do love Sino too, but like, Xiao though. <laughs> we could say we have a lot of favorite boys. Lots of good boys. I feel like I still can't find someone that can outmatch Zhongli for me though. I still really love Zhongli. I like uh, Chung Yoon's color palettes a lot. He's really fun to draw, but he's not enough to say he's a favorite character, but he's my favorite character to draw. Some people had that misconception when I was saying like, oh, I love drawing Chung Yoon. I was like, oh, he's your favorite character. I was like, he's just really fun to draw. He's one of the easiest characters to draw in Genshin, and he also has the most fun color palettes. You can make his hair look so icy blue. It's very cute. Dong Li? Well, how dare you? <laughs> he, he tarnished his name. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. Well, we have John Lee. No, <laughs> my favorite Hoyoverse character is Oto Apok. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, isn't he a piece of garbage though? <laughs> okay, I haven't gone that far, but all I know is that he's really bad. <laughs> I need to see a side view. I don't know, I love, I like Otto. Okay, everybody seems to like Otto, so it might be just me then. Okay, what is this? Oh, I cannot see. Do, 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 do. All right, so there is a piece of cloth that covers most of the pants, so it's longer than the pants. Um, I want it kind of like go like this and then hi wait this is gonna cover his butt no <laughs> no scaramouche cheeks i got an idea there is a way to save this we will get scaramouche cheeks Wait a 
minute. I should have, I should have made this in another layer because uh, it's overlapping other clothing and I don't want it to, I don't want to get so careful to color. I'm getting bummed! <laughs> Read again. Oh, oh, that's what you say. I don't like auto. Sketchy. Okay, here we go. Um. I have it like this. Alright, I'm, I'm really trying to um, make this flowy and also make sense. Let me hide clothes so I can see a little bit better. Oh my gosh, this looks so naughty. <laughs> like raising the uh the flap it's supposed to be like flapped over but i think it might be better if it flaps toward us instead of up so it's like like that and then we have another thing underneath that's like flapping out This is hard, this is hard. <laughs> this does not even look like clothing trying to flap away. Um, I could try to use this and... This other piece is like flapping up too. Would this be okay? <laughs> Would this be okay to actually like look right? Alright, and then I see this, 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 and this. And then it's like all outlined. And then I see something that looks like the electrogram on here. It looks like the electrogram. I didn't even notice that. That's so many design implications inside a design I've seen. Like, you see, like, Electro is implemented all over on Scaramouche, yet he's not Electro. That's crazy. He has the electrogram on him, he has the Electro symbol. He has it on his chest and he has it on his back. He has like a little pouch on his back that has uh, the electric symbol. Oh, it's the top of his head. Wait, there's a mask? You see this? There's a mask on him. At the very top, let me, let me flip it. Yeah, there's a mask on him. Oof, it's a little bit hard to do it upside down. But yeah. Oh, there we go. You can see that. That's the top of his hat. And that's a mask. I did not know that. He got a face. Alright, let me put this right side up again. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, we have... Yeah, there's like his pouch on his back. He probably has some heirloom with him. That reminds him of his mother. Um, we have a little star on his back and also on his hands too, I saw. 
So there's a star that's implemented a lot on his design. Um, and of course, you cannot forget the light streaks of hair in the back of his head. Which probably like glows when he uses Electro. Uh, did you know that Archons actually like whenever you use like I, I don't know if it's just me that so noticed this, but whenever you use an Archon, they all have ombre on them, right? And um since they have like some sort of ombre, like whenever they use their elemental skills, their ombre glows the color of their skill. I was like, wait, does that happen for everybody? So I checked, so I checked Venti. Venti's like end of his braids glow. Raiden, the, the streaks of her hair glows. And then with Zhongli, you notice he has an ombre of like yellow and that glows. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have, oh, he has a canister because he travels a lot. Let me see, with his clothes on... Mm. Mm. I think I should actually, like, keep it close. Like this. Ah, uh, it's gonna cover the booty, but oh well, it's gonna cover the booty. Wait a minute. Why isn't it not crossing over <gasps> hmm? I'm, I'm like looking at his design and you know like he has this uh, what do you call it let me let me move my 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 body bah, 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 bah. you can see like he has uh, like okay what is this called the sash, the sash. Let me use uh, my pencil. This part. You see these, right? Well, I got confused because I thought it was gonna come uh, from back here. Like it should be like when these two sides meet, there should be a gap that's filled, but it's not, it's not filled. It's actually just blank. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, okay. Um, yeah, I thought there was gonna be a gap here. Uh, oh, no, no gap, no gap here. Because I thought it was gonna have it meet like that. But it's not. So I need to find another reference of his back. And there it is. There's the answer. Because they wrap up right behind there. There we go. So that means what I had in the drawing was incorrect. They do not meet up. Uh, I probably also have to redraw this entire thing because of how it loops. So because he, oops, I'm using red. Because he is having it here, it's most likely gonna be like this. see that his thing goes like that. Let me see his body. Yeah, it's, it's gonna cover his butt. It, it adds so much dimension. Oh wait, sorry. My, my body's still like covering. There we go. Sometimes it's best to not question Hmm. The 
real question. Right, how does this look on the side? Oh yes. So we have uh, two things happening. So I was incorrect that there, uh, of how that's supposed to look. So there's another piece right here that comes up and enters. And that one has the design. The other one is just brown. And then he has his canister here. Uh, since the arm is covering it, the canister is going to be a little bit covered up here. There we go. And I noticed that it has some sort of bow. And there. Gam here. I was fooling around way too long on this. There we go. I see a little arrow. There we go. still fooling around. Oh my goodness. I need to stop! <laughs> I I did hear about um, when artists like spend too much like fixing things uh, when they're stuck on a drawing. Sometimes it's just best to just start over from what I heard because then at least you have like a better um, grasp of uh, maybe a pose you're more comfortable in but it is good to try to do a lot of um, pose practices I forget what it's called again ah it's like it's like warm-ups when you're like drawing so that you could be able to do poses uh, a lot easier because you know how they work how the muscle oh wait <gasps> Oh my gosh, Raven! Thank you for the bits! Wait, no message? Oh my goodness! Thank you! Hey, yo! Oh my gosh, thank you, Raven! That was so nice! <laughs> I I don't I don't know what to say. I I'm just I I wish I could say more to like uh thank you. Yeah. Raven, that you like my art. I'm very honored. Wait, I, I, I think I, I'm getting pretty... I'm a clown! <laughs> I, I'm absolutely speechless! <laughs> I am speechless. Oh, wait, I actually made a mistake on here. So it's supposed to be like this. Ah, there we go. Oh. Let's see. 
Oh, he has a diamond on him. He is so nice. Yeah, that was so nice of him. Oh, time for water, time for water. <laughs> Came for the Scara sandals. Oh my gosh, Raven! <laughs> oh, I I will show you some Scara sandals. There you go. Here's some Scara feet for you. Oh my gosh, Raven! Thank you for the hundred bits. You're crazy. Oh my gosh. I, I'm, I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. I hope you have a good day, too. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm almost done with this, uh, this part of the outfit. There we go. Oh, I see how it's supposed to be. So, it's supposed to be coming down like this. I think, I think I did it right, did I? Um, hmm. So, his knees are bare. That's how it's supposed to be. And then... He has some sort of belt on him. This. Wait, isn't that? That's his uh, sleeve. Oh, oops, oops. All right, this is where the belt is. And then uh, this is somewhere where the the part of what do you call it? Ah, uh, the garment. Some sort of garment. I feel like this part should be facing down a bit. <gasps> no! Whoops, whoops, whoops. I messed up. Okay. Yes. Uh, I want to change this, like here, like so. Because I noticed the way that this is uh, positioned should be more like that. Yeah! There we go. And it should be a little more sharp, not um, very like floppy looking. Art is a process. Sometimes when you think it looks bad at the beginning, you just have to trust the process. <laughs> Look at them! Yuzu! I got them grippers! <laughs> you could tell what part of the drawing I enjoyed the most. <laughs> you could tell. How you doing, Yuzu? Master foot. Oh no, I'm not a master foot artist. <laughs> I just drew feet out of frustration because I couldn't draw feet before. Because before when I used to draw feet, it used to look like this. And now look at me go. <laughs> I can draw feet. Yeah, I used to draw feet like that for the longest time. And I was like, I, I won't do this foot slander anymore. I gotta actually learn how to draw feet. Feet art is a training. 
Because, like, if I also try to draw feet before, it would be like this. I don't like, no, that is so sad. What? <laughs> Triangle feet are the go to. Accomplished. Wait, what are you talking about? He's <laughs> wait a feat. I've accomplished master. <laughs> wait, <laughs> feet. Oh my gosh, I got it now. I just got it now. After she she wrote it correctly. I don't like this. <laughs> All right, let me see if I could polish up this braid up here. All right, so the, oh no, not like this. A joke. You, oh yeah, Yuzu, are you streaming today? Are you going to be drawing or doing arc nights? Were you thinking about streaming? Hey, yo, let's go. I want to see Yuzu as a very successful streamer, but fatigue has got me on chokehold. Uh, that's uh, that's understandable. Go ahead and have like you can have your rest You don't have a schedule, right? You don't uh, make a schedule for yourself right, I got the braid almost done. I'm just cleaning it up a little I see a little string here. And... We have this part. No schedule, but maybe someday. What are you gonna be for Halloween? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm, what should I be for Halloween? I was planning to maybe just draw some Halloween art. That's actually a really good idea. <gasps> Cause uh, I, I've never celebrated Halloween before. Uh, mostly because like my family has been extremely religious. <laughs> and yet look at me, I'm a demon concubine. <laughs> just put on some demon. <laughs> Wait, isn't that just me? Isn't that just me right now? I was like thinking maybe I could do like some Halloween art of myself. Change your little hat to <gasps> a little pumpkin hat. That's so cute. All right, what other parts of this needs to be done? I think I could just That works. <laughs> Let me clean up the pose so there is no more lines. There it is up here too. And here. Just 
Scaramouche has muscle. <laughs> Only in my dreams. Right, there's the his body here, his hips. His hips needs to be erased. I need to put on a bigger eraser. Here we go. Smaller eraser. And I think we are good. I just need to clean up a little bit more. and then like my pog. <laughs> check on other details to make sure I have everything correct. I have the arms. So I want to have the showing. Does it peek inward? Yes, it does. So it peeks in like this. And there is a little emblem here. can't see it on the other side, but you can see it on this side. Okay. Uh, what, what other bits is there to... Oh yeah, there was this uh, weird part. I did not understand why it's here. But it is this, this bit. And I think it's it extends out like so. What? <gasps> you also missed these bits. <gasps> oh my, look at all these! <laughs> That's a lot of bits! You. It's like falls over, drops all my bits. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Raven. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, s I, I, my body's screaming and my head screaming. Everything is screaming. Ouch, my cat. My cat go like chill out, girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Raven. There is. Oh yeah, I need to do the ear. Cause like there's a little bit of the ear here. There we go. Now we have that ear looks way too high. I can fix that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I accidentally drew the ear on the wrong layer. Uh, let me cut. Is this the layer? That's the hair layer. This is the head layer. All right. Paste and merge it. Let me hide his hair so I can see his ear a little bit easier. There we go. Uh, maybe a little bigger. That that's much much better. All right, let me check on both sides. Is this is this a little? Too small? <laughs> uh, I love you, Scara Musty. <laughs> Where we uh, toss this giant? Sauce. Oh yeah, his saucer. I actually drew his what his hat is gonna look like. So this is um. The majority of his hat. And I am actually scared. <laughs> I'm scared of his hat. 
I was thinking like, yeah, his hat, let's go! And, <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute, it's gonna cover up a lot of his face, isn't it? Uh, I think it's it's Caesar at the top. Let me check. Is this hat see? Oh, it is. It is. Okay, good, good, good. So it's not gonna take out too much detail from it, but I do want to draw like the veil, like uh, going like that and stuff. That would be pretty. Yeah. But I I look like I may have to wrap up for now. So thank you, thank you so much for keeping me company on uh, drawing Scaramouche. You could draw his hat tilted. That is true. Um, maybe like tilted more to the left. So like you can see a little bit more of his face, right? Thank you, thank you for joining. Yeah, I'm so happy to share my, my workflow. And it, I, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at talking. But I, I'm very grateful for anybody who's come to watch. And thank you, Raven, for the bits! Oh my goodness! You're... What do you call it? Like, you're, uh, you're... You're one! <laughs> you what? I don't know how to speak! Uh, let's see. Let's see who should I rate. Oh, I haven't rated, uh, Bun in a while. Let's, let's rate Bun! A real one! That's the one! You're a real one! You're the one 